know that we should be reducing, reusing, and recycling household items, but what about repurposing? Our next guest is back to show us how upcycling can help us declutter and live a more eco-friendly life. I love that. Well, here with inspiration on where to find new uses for our old stuff is star of the YouTube channel, Clean My Space. Melissa Maker is back. Welcome, Melissa. Thank you. Thank you. So I think everyone can relate to having a lot of stuff and maybe wanting to not add more stuff mm. to the house. So tell us what we should be thinking about or looking for when we are thinking about stuff to repurpose. Sure. So I like what you said earlier because when we're out shopping, we might see something and we're like, oh, I need that to solve that one small problem that comes up once right. a year. And then you buy it and you have to store it and it collects yeah. dust and then you feel guilty. So what I'm trying to do is help us figure out what we can reuse and repurpose at home that could potentially have a new life. We could give it, you know, a new purpose. But the caveat here is not to keep garbage, not to just keep <laughs> boxes and bins and rolls and think, oh yeah, maybe one day I'll use that. We're going to be smart <laughs> about it. We I are. hope my, my yes. mom is listening to that. <laughs> she has about like 40 Kleenex boxes <laughs> in a room. I love oh, you, We're going to change that. Yeah. You can use one Kleenex box to keep your plastic bags in, but then you get rid of the other 39. Thank you, You're Melissa. Welcome, mom. You're it's welcome. Amazing. You're welcome, mom. <laughs> so let's start, Melissa. Okay, we're going to start with ice cube trays. Yes. So how do we upcycle, reuse those things. I feel like we can't even call them ice cube trays anymore because we have so many different things that we can do with them. If you're having a little ice cream social gathering, Love this. you can use that to display the treats and toppings for your Cute. ice cream. Same thing for barbecue season. If you have, you know, guests over and you want to display your condiments and you don't want to have the messy bottles yeah. everywhere, this is a nice easy way to Cute. do that. You can also grab muffin tins and you can put shredded onion, pickles, tomatoes and use that for toppings. Love. Yeah, you can use the larger ones for snacks trays for kids you know they're, they're always looking for like fun novel ways to eat things yeah, yeah. that is a good one mm -hmm. and then you can use <laughs> thanks Mel and then you can also use one of these to lay out craft supplies when you're having a plate or you're having kids over that's great I love this yeah now there's another really fun use for those shaped you know silicone ice cream trays the mm -hmm. really cute shaped ones pick up that little horse looking mm -hmm. doodle over there okay. yeah this is old bits of crayon that I have taken the paper off because I have lots of crayons lying around yeah, my house. I have like a two broken, year old, broken old crayons. I put them into a silicone tray, removed the paper, baked it uh, at 275 for 15 minutes, and we got these very cool multicolored repurposed crayons. That's no amazing. Way. I love it. That is fantastic. Yeah. That's neat. Okay. Let's go to uh, eyeglass cases, because I don't know about you guys, but I have a ton of these sort of lying around the house, and I never, I don't want to throw them out, yeah. but I'm also not using them. Yeah, okay, so there are lots of fun different ways you can use this, and the thing I love about glasses cases, if you get like a nice designer pair of glasses, it's almost like a free handbag. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. You don't want to throw it out. Yeah. So, okay, so there are a couple cool things you can do with that. If you're traveling, it's a great way to store your makeup, or even Cute. if you're just at work on the go and you don't want to buy a makeup bag, yeah. use a glasses case. Same thing for traveling with jewelry jewelry. If you have mint tins, you can interchange the two. Another great thing if you're traveling, great for wires, earbuds, <gasps> so you can pop that in there. And they don't get all tangled. They don't, and you can easily find them. Mm -hmm. The other thing, if you have little ones, I did this with my daughter when we traveled. We cut up stick, like pieces of stickers from the dollar store. We put them in there, uh, in the mint tins, and we did the same thing with crayons. And it was such an easy, convenient way to travel. Oh, it, yeah, everything that. was like organized. It wasn't all over the place. Yes. And it was a great repurpose. I love it. Love that. It's cute. It's good. Okay, let's move over to these gals. You know, uh, after uh, holiday season, a lot of boxes, so wine, wine boxes, boxes hanging around the or house. Or not holiday season. Yeah, or yeah. not holiday season, whatever. Um, what do you do with yours? Okay, there are a, a couple of really cool uses. First of all, for off-season shoes, spring, summer shoes, not big, bulky, bulky winter ones, but the smaller ones, you can use these <gasps> as shoe dividers, right? You can oh, store yeah. them. And then I want to direct you over here. We've got these two little sachets. One yeah. is baking soda, which helps to absorb odors. Let's be honest, they're shoes. Yep. And rice helps to absorb moisture. So uh. that's a really nice thing you can drop at the bottom and then use this for shoe storage. What a great idea. And talking about great ideas, <laughs> in front of us, we're using that as a gift wrap storage box. Oh, now, I want to tell you guys, easy. I was at a trade show one year. I see a lot of cleaning and organizing things in my job and there was a $50 gift wrap organizer that was being sold. I'm like, no, free wine box. Yes. That's, that's robbery. That yeah. is what yeah. you do. That is incredible. Upcycle. Upcycle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, if you have wine, you may have corks. 
-hmm. And what do you do with your corks? Okay, so uh, you can be crafty with them, which I am not, but you can be smart with them, which I am. So <laughs> uh, if you are into planters and vases, which I love, uh, a great way instead of having to buy those felt things that are constantly falling off, and you yeah. know they cost money and they're annoying, you can never find them when you need them. Right. Get yourself a cork. Now the tip here is to boil the cork for 10 minutes. That softens it up. Then you're gonna it slice it. It doesn't pop out? It won't. Okay. I mean, it might, but it will shrink back. It'll yeah. be more pliable. <laughs> Perfect. That's all we're looking for. If you boil it That's first. right. Okay. And then once it's dry, you can then glue it onto the bottom, and this will stay nice and put and not scratch, which is what we're going that for. That is incredible. Yeah. Could that. you also use these to, to um, work on furniture? So I don't think so because they, they're not so, they won't slide nicely. So right. if, if right. it's something that would stay in place, maybe, but if, you know, you're going to move it around, stick with something that can slide. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay, this next one sounds really, really neat. Yeah. Uh, a different use for our dental floss, Melissa. Yes, ladies. You are going to tell your dentist with pride that you have been flossing. Oh Jess, my goodness. you're taking this one. We're all going to do this. You can uh, use... And this is not used dental this is... floss. <laughs> this would be fresh this is dental fresh. floss. So what we're doing with the dental floss, and we're going to use unflavored, is we're going to use it for cutting soft things that would otherwise come out clumpy on right. knives. So the trick here is to wind it up nice and tight, mm -hmm. and then you're going to use your thumbs to press down <gasps> melt. So neat. Nice oh and my gosh. slow. Slow and slow. Uh, yeah, press it. And then pull the floss pull out. Pull it out. Wait for it. Yes, girl. And then you're gonna oh twist gosh. it. You repeat it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Isn't this that is so pleasurable? Very it's satisfying. It's very satisfying. Like unhealthily sort of so. <laughs> wow, that is great. And if you're into wine and cheese parties and you don't want to have your goat cheese everywhere, your borsin, this is a very nice, easy oh, way to do that. Love this, love this. So Dental I floss. Love now we're it. gonna do for it. the win. Yes. Now, Leslie, let's talk about uh, what do you call these pillow cases? Use your pillow cases. And what happens when y you get an old one? Maybe you don't want to use it. You can reuse it. How? You definitely can. So the first use we have here, we're gonna cut a hole right in the top, just like this. And if you have a nice garment that you're storing away, it's just give me a hand yep. with this. You can use it as a simple and easy light bulbs just went out. Bed. Bed. So this is great for sequins, appliques, anything that you don't want to snag. This yes. is a really great That's use great. for that. Now the next one, I, I want to reiterate here, we need to use a clean right. used pillowcase yes. for this okay. one. Okay, now that we're all on the same page, um, this is a great way to keep your greens fresh. So a lot of us use paper towel yeah. to do this. But hey, if we can not use paper towel and use something else instead to keep our greens fresh, that's what we should do. This has been rinsed, so it's not dry. It's got a little bit of moisture left on it. We're going to put it right into the pillowcase. We'll fold that up. Grab yourself a plastic produce bag, pop that in there, leave that in your fridge, and your greens will be nice and crisp. They'll stay fresh right away. Yeah. Oh, that no. is great. Melissa, well, thank you so much.